the studio 701. Are you familiar with Krav Maga? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Well, Tyler Bay is the owner and head instructor of Bizman Krav Maga, and he's here to tell us all about it. So welcome to the show, Tyler. So glad to have you here today. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> so, uh, Tyler, you tell us. This is an interesting name. How do you describe Krav Maga? Tell us about this. Uh, well, Krav Maga comes from Israel, uh, and it's in Hebrew. It actually means contact combat. Um, and so basically how it works is it is street level self-defense. So we're not really concerned with uh, ring fighting or tournaments. Uh, it's all about get in, get out, how to protect yourself and others. What first got you into this? You said you've been doing it for about 10 years now. So yes. what first led you there? Um, well, actually, that's not this great story. Um, my mom wanted me to do a sport. And she gave me the options of basketball or martial arts, and I didn't really like basketball, so <laughs> I kind of got into it that way, and I fell in love with it right away. Well, it was meant to be. See, Mom knew best all along, <laughs> I bet. It was part of her plan. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, I've seen some uh, video of, of you doing this, and you're pretty intense. Um, I was kind of uh, afraid when I, when I was watching these videos. Um, who is this martial art for, and why would they want to take this? Uh, so one of the big things about Krav Maga is it's for everyone of you know, any age, size, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, one of our big things is that we like to say uh, it you know, teaches like a 12-year-old girl to go up against you know, a 250-pound jacked-out guy. Um, it's very effective. It's ranked um, amongst the most highly effective martial arts in the world. Uh, and it's so basically for everyone. Which is so great. I mean, like we were just saying, how young of a student would you mm -hmm. take? And you said... Uh, five years old is the youngest we take, and I think the oldest we actually have right now is 63. That's incredible. Wow. So yeah. what, kind, what is a success story from someone who's taking one of your classes, in partic particular one of these self-defense classes? Can you tell us like, how much someone has grown from this or how much they've felt better about applying it to their personal lives? Oh, well, one of the big things about martial arts is it's not just like the physical side of things. Um, a lot of people take away confidence, um, you know, more respect, that kind of thing. Uh, and so like one of my instructors actually, he started out um, kind of as a shy kid and he has grown into uh, my second hand kind of. Um, he helps take over classes. He has gone to national state speech. Um, he is just amazing. Uh, and so Krav Maga and martial arts in general is really good for the person, like the soul, kind of getting people out of their shell. Uh, and so, you know, I've had students, um, you know, defend themselves at school if they have to, stuff like that. It, it just, it warms my heart knowing that people take away from the classes and they, you know, better themselves from it. Uh, absolutely. And watching that, it's I want to learn all of these techniques right now. <laughs> um, they look very important. Um, so we're going to actually see if you can teach Michael, who has so willingly <laughs> volunteered to be a part of this, just an easy move, something that maybe would be in one of your beginner courses. Um, and could you just kind of walk us through what you will teach and, and go ahead? Yeah. All right. All right. So basic thing, we're just going to teach, teach a palm strike. Okay. Okay. So it's one of the most basic defenses. You're going to take your hand and you're going to hit with this part right here. Okay. And you are hitting right on to the nose. Mm -hmm. So it would just be, you have your, all 10 toes facing your opponent. You're going to have your non-dominant side just a little bit in front and have your hands up. And then you're just going to hit right down on here onto my hand, just like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then you're going to twist on those hips, get some power on it just like that okay and it would go right to the person's nose yeah hopefully causing you know a little bit of damage there so <laughs> why is my hand open I think if I'm gonna throw a punch it's gonna yeah. be a fist right that is a great question actually I get that a lot more than <laughs> you'd think mm -hmm. um, so one of the big downfalls of punch and we do teach punches however mm -hmm. um, it's really hard for beginners because if you hit with the bottom two knuckles here, mm -hmm. um, you could end up breaking your knuckles. Uh, if you mess up, you know, punch a little bit off, you could break yeah. your wrist. And you kind of need those to, you know, continue the fight on. Um, so one of the easiest things, we just teach the palm strike right away. Yeah. Because it gets the aggression out. It gets the power through mm -hmm. um, without all the risk. Gotcha. So that, that's why the palm strike is one of our more basic ones. And then the punch comes a little bit after that. Yeah. Once you've got a little bit of I control. hope my assailant understands when I come after him <laughs> like this yes. instead of like yes. this. Yeah. 
So, yes, they know you're you're mean business. <laughs> and Michael needs to know how to defend himself if he's wearing that red fur coat yes, around. That's right. He has got right. to be able to defend himself. <laughs> Protect my investments. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, thank you so much, Tyler, for your time today. It's been really great to learn all about Krav Maga. Thank you so much for your time. And for more information, make sure you call Bizman Krav Maga. Maybe you want to sign up for a class or self-defense. And you can call 701-202-4422. Two, seven. And keep it here coming up next. Potty training can be a